So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how we can fix these topology these json faces with the help of the one modifier it's called basically remesh modifier yes blender have one modifier from where we can fix all those topologies and this modifier works very nice with the hard surface model because i have tried a lot but i didn't get the desirable result in the uh, like um, organic modeling but yes i can surely say that you can use fix the topology of your hard surface model that will definitely work same what I'm doing here basically but make sure while doing the organic modeling uh, topology fixing it will not work your uh, your expectation so please do not expect with the organic model but yes we can work with the hard surface so first of all I just want to add that modifier and I'm just going to my modifier section and here I'm just going to adding that remesh modifier so here you can see uh, there are a four kind of remesh modifier first of all is voxel second is sharp third is smooth and fourth is blocks basically all right and uh, there are two options from where we can fix a good topology but I'm just gonna recommend to all of you please whenever you are using a remesh modifier make sure you just go to the sharp option because it's helped to create a good topology rather than voxel smooth and blocks all right so what I'm gonna do basically I'm just gonna select this sharp one and here you can see uh, when I just click the sharp all the text are disappears and we have only some words which is not looking what we expect basically so first of all what we have to do we have to just click this remove disconnected and what is does this option basically if we have a one object uh, where we have a multiple object but those objects are not uh, physically connected with each other but they are a part of a one object okay in that case if you disable this uh, remove disconnected so all those parts will visible very nicely still we can't see proper all those parts so for that what we have to do first what we have to say increase the octree depth and what it does exactly basically octree depth try to increase the mesh into the all parts which is we can't see properly right now and it will try to come back all those shapes which is we have before all right so what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna increase the octree depth and here you can see we are getting a nice uh, shape back all right and if you want to see the uh, topology you can just enable the wireframe from here and now here we go here you can see we have a good topology here and that's look fine by the way and what we can do basically we have some other option also we can increase the topology size and decrease the topology size if you want to do that and secondly we have a, a, another option it's called basically sharpness so right now we have a good sharpness here because if i will use the voxel things what will happen basically is voxel do the same thing which is uh, we are doing with the sharp thing also but voxel have one drawbacks it is not uh, keep the sh sharp edges sharp basically here you can see but if I'm going to talk about the sharp edges sharp option it is always remaining to keep a sharp object all right and from here we can fix those things which we are uh, facing here basically here you can see right now uh, some uh, meshes are colliding each other so for that we have to just increase the scales and now here you can see where we are finding a good topology we can just stop this yeah that's look nice by the way and now here you can see we have a good topology and that's look nice by the way i'm just going to duplicate this one so we can see the difference before and after all right so for that i'm just going to duplicate it and after that i'm just gonna uh, remove the modifier from this upper part upper one basically and now here you can see you can clearly see the difference and now i'm just going to apply this modifier because i am happy with this uh, results and now here you can see we have a before and after and this is look awesome by the way all right so here you can see we have a very triangle faces here but now we have a very quad and very good topology and as i've mentioned you before also this only work with the good in a hard surface modeling not organic modeling if you want to know the reason basically so i can show you once what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one uh, uh, monkey head here and i'm just gonna apply the subsurface modifier now here we have a real mesh now i'm just going to add the remesh modifier now here you can see doesn't matter which uh which basically uh section you are you will get a very jazzy edges and uh, faces basically that's not working good with the hard surface as i told sorry it is not good work it is not working good with the organic modeling as i already mentioned before but it is good for the hard surface modeling all right guys so that's how we can work with the remesh modifier that's very life saving 
tools and if you want to do a uh, little bit uh, remeshing of your hard surface model you can definitely try this tool okay this is helping a lot sometime and it will also save your times and if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and uh, and if you have any queries of installation please uh, let me know in the comment box so, so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe and also if you have any queries of your installation please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys Oh,